Are you guys getting a lot of spam messages on LinkedIn or is it just me? If you are as I am, then that's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. People connect with me on LinkedIn, they seem relevant, so I connect. And then the next, next day, the next minute, I'm getting a message about, we are the leading provider of XYZ technology and we think it's great for you. We wanna set up a demo, we wanna set up a partnership, or even worse, we'll bring 10 new leads to you every week and I'm thinking, if this is the way you guys work, there's no way I'm gonna be working with you. LinkedIn is a social media network. The key word there, social. If we were to walk into a social networking uh, event and we had just met and said, hey, my name's Perry, what's yours? Your name's John, great. Is the next thing you'd say to me, hey, we have the greatest technology in the world, you should buy it. I don't think so. I'm gonna try to share with some basic etiquette that I think that we should all learn and, and do on social media and I'll, I promise you you will see the results it might be a little bit longer term but they they really work first of all like I said LinkedIn is a social media network once you've connected with someone and they've done the courtesy of saying yes we will connect with you show interest but how do you show interest on LinkedIn well, read their content read their post what are they what are they talking about what are they interested in what are their what are they problems then you can move to stage two, which is provide value. Now, hopefully you're leveraging LinkedIn to provide value uh, in a broader sense, either by doing videos or posting content that you, you think your, your uh, friends and network will find valuable. But you can also use that as a, as a potential way to share with somebody uh, some information. I saw that you posted about a problem you were talking about. Here's something I found that you might find interesting hey, you've just provided value. You're not asking for anything, you are just being helpful. That's what providing value means. It means being helpful. In a previous video, I talked about how that is what inbound marketing is. This video is inbound marketing, is hopefully providing value. Otherwise, you probably would have shut me down 30, 30 seconds ago. Finally, once you've done those two steps, and they can't come in five minutes, in one hour, in one day, there's not a timeline for this. But that's when you can either make or wait for the ask. I prefer to wait for the ask, where people reach out and ask you questions, and through that, it'll lead to business. But if you've done the first two steps properly, it's okay to make a small ask and say, hey, would you be interested in uh, talking about X, Y, or Z? But don't be pushy about it, and don't follow up with me 13 times a day after I had, I had either don't respond or I say no thank you. Okay, after editing a video, I figured the thing I'm missing most is actual examples. I've removed the offender's information to save them face, but here's the example. I remind you, this is literally hours or maybe even minutes after we've connected. Good morning, I am one of the founders of blah, 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 a new breed SEO intelligence business. Now, I don't know who you are, I don't, I don't care that you're a founder, but let's let's see. Over the last four years, they've, with the support of Expedia and other enterprise level businesses, we've successfully developed a new machine learning artificial intelligence SEO suite. Really proud of you guys, thank you, good to know. Now, this the results, he says me, the results have been time saving of 80%. I don't know what they're sa who's they're saving, more stable exposure. I'm, Guessing I understand that. And 150% greater level of accuracy. Okay, that's that's great. The number of features are extensive. They're extensive. That means there, there's tons of features. I, I, I can't even... And it's even it's good for the most junior SEO operative. We're dealing with secret services here because we got operatives. And even for the most advanced. Now, I am neither a junior or an advanced SEO operative. So I'm not sure why I'm getting this LinkedIn message. Uh, I don't do SEO personally, I guess. I have people working for me that do SEO, so maybe I could be interested, but the message is not targeted to me. Even if it, it was okay to spam me right after we met, it's not targeted. They had took no interest in who I am. This is a horrible email, LinkedIn message, whatever it is. Get rid of this piece of junk. Second one, the English is a little bit off, so let's, let's, we're a Telly-based partner I guess he means he, part to, he wants to partner with companies like mine and helping them generate 20 to 40 highly engaged sales leads a month. 
are they using this method to do that? Because that's horrible. I would never want someone doing that for me. That would make me look terrible. I'm an inbound marketing agency. I currently work with companies in the US, EU, and Israel. Very targeted. They only work with US, EU, and Israel. That's great. Let's chat. Uh, nope. Now let me show you an example of an actually the right way to do it. Uh, this guy, his name's Gal Yefet. Never met him, although he lives somewhere within 100 kilometers of me because he's in Israel. Um, but we've connected on LinkedIn. And these are the type of messages he sent me. This is not the first one. He says, I know you've been discussing this topic earlier with Yoel because he watched a video of me and Yoel talking about something and shared with me something very specific to the questions that we were asking in that conversation. This is inbound marketing. Thanks, Sagal. I hope it's okay that I shared your information. Uh, obviously, I hid the, the offenders and, and shared yours. Uh, guys, let's learn from this and let's make LinkedIn a better place. I you know, hope you bear with me with my uh, rant today. And if you found it valuable as usual, please share it on. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments.